Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Taurus, June 26, 2022. The moon spends the day in your sign and aligns with Uranus. The search for experiences beyond the ordinary can be a big focus. Later today, there's some tendency to worry or dwell on problem areas. Of course, being aware of this propensity can help you take steps to avoid going overboard with it. Tensions can have their root in frustrations over differences in core values and beliefs. On the plus side, you can take a few notes if you find yourself tense out of the blue those things you've buried haven't gone away, and this is a sign that you should probably deal with them. Some super transits can help pull you out of negative thinking. It can be a good time to tap into creative thinking and put your unique perspective and viewpoint to good use. As you are generally in love with love, you will adore the day's planetary aspect, which brings you all your heart could desire in terms of a highly desirable and deeply exciting romantic situation. If you communicate with someone new, you may feel as though you have known them all your life and perhaps for more than one life. Prepare to be thrilled. Lean into your unconventional side and the moon conjuncts Uranus in your sign. Although you may prefer to live and work in your comfort zone, sometimes stepping out of it can pay off. You should consider embodying a more eclectic, electric look or demeanor at work today. Wear an accent that is unusual but professional as it may help you stand out against your other colleagues. Speak up, offer unexpected insight, and act more of your authentic self in your professional setting. Enjoy these surprisingly genuine moments as it encourages you to be more comfortable at work. The name of the game for you today is emotional freedom, you couldn't care less about your finances today. Your senses are quite heightened and you'll find the smallest things that capture your attention. Don't delay your response to these events, whether they are big or small. You'll find that even the smallest event may blossom into a whole new world of people and situations. Feel free to let your creativity explode into every part of your being. Take a relaxed view of life and let grass grow over old feuds. Enjoy reviving old contacts and wallowing in nostalgia. The conditions are ideal, as you will be receiving a lot of trust and affection. Let your family know how important they are to you and spend more time with them. You're only using a teeny sliver of your brain rather than the usual amount because that missing chunk is tied up in knots over some problem you don't know how to solve. Wait it out. What you want seems to be magically in tune with the people you meet and socialize with. You feel a strong sense of identity and flirt with whoever you meet or find appealing. Others are content to listen to what you have to say and you benefit equally from their response, enjoying connections you make. The time has come to take action, to take care of business. You are going to need a lot of strength and tenacity, but the celestial energy should be able to help you with that. It's time to mark out your territory, to defend your interests. But you have never really had any problems with that kind of thing. All you have to do is go for it, to head right for your goal. Look to creative expression to get your message across on this day. This is sure to be especially effective if your goal is to make an impact on others, as this essence supports cooperation. If words have failed you in the past, try writing, pictures, or whatever else you can think of to communicate your thoughts and feelings. Given half a chance, your innate talents will take over, and you will be expressing yourself in no time. As the moon leaves Taurus, three days after Venus left this wraps up a chance to get a better read on the desires and expectations she has left you with. It is then that the moon will join the planet of money as she spends her first weekend in your income sector. Over the coming days, this will not only sharpen your nose for money just as you have moved into some of the most potentially lucrative weeks of any year but will further cement a growing partnership between new income and untapped professional potential. Three days after Venus, the planet of love left Taurus the moon leaves today, but not before leaving you with an even better sense of what you want from love and your relationships. The moon's return just hours after Venus left and then having crossed the lunar nodes yesterday has helped to capture and further refine the desires and expectations she left you with. Our Eyes in the Sky
With the sun continuing its new journey through protective cancer today, you might find yourself defending a family member or coming to a friend's rescue. Your main objective is to support the people who need you, and if you can't be there for them when they're counting on you the most, it disappoints you almost more than it disappoints them. Try not to be too hard on yourself during this warm and empathetic solar transit. Taking good care of yourself allows you to be in the healthy kind of space you need to be in so you can take care of everyone else. Later in the day, a moon-uranus conjunction could cause impulsiveness and upsets, but the influence of its meeting place, steady Taurus, helps calm things down considerably. Surprises can still happen, but you have a little better chance of getting things under control when you rely on practicality and logic rather than sheer emotional responses. This isn't a great time to branch out and try something new. Crises and emergencies call for calm, tried and true methods, not strange innovations. The cosmic weather is quiet today until mid-afternoon, when the moon sextiles series in Cancer, prompting selfless behavior. The instinctive nature of the Taurus moon can, at times, hinder us from seeing that what works best for us might not necessarily be best for others. We become stubborn in our preferences and impatient if our specific needs aren't being met. We wind up feeling like our generosity is being taken for granted. However, during this auspicious connection to Ceres, the asteroid of nurturance, we organically perceive how to offer support in ways that are most applicable to those around us. Our attempts to assist are well received, whether we are feeding or sheltering someone, or providing a listening ear for their concerns. The care that we offer comes from a place that is not only authentic, but allows us to express the best of ourselves. Everyone winds up feeling more secure and seen as a result. Following this, the moon aligns with Uranus, stimulating our intuition and instincts. This is an aspect where we feel things, in our bones. The emotions generated now can prompt us to adopt sudden changes, upset our classic routines, and make strange elections, acting on rationale that is beyond us. Our decisions might seem bizarre to those who know us well, and we will likely admit that we are acting out of character at this time. However, we should trust eccentric impulses to guide us in the right direction. As our confidence shrinks, we can find ourselves backing out of social engagements. This attitude confuses those who desire our company. But truly there are few things as insufferable as moping under the Leo moon, so our energy is better invested in solo pursuits or fleshing out creative projects. When we feel less obligated to perform, the perception of being under a microscope will subside and our mood should stabilize.